Hey, what's up, everybody? It's me, Solo Supreme, with my esteemed co host, Thunder God, and welcome back to Asian Ambitions in Victoria 2. Say hello. Welcome back, Profligates. Now, we must see the conclusion from this Japanese Siamese war. Uh, you good to unpause? Yep. All right, let's go. So, right now, this is really a uh, situation where Britain is trying to pretend to be something it's not. Uh, I see the glorious samurai. I like that. Yeah, they're, they're starting to win now. Like, they're, like, literally trickling me down. Yeah. I think it's because, like, your Even organization, because though... when you first joined the battle, when they attacked your men, that smaller army, that kind of screwed you. If it was like your full stacks both together, you would have been fine. Uh, shit, looks like you're gonna have to retreat. I think holdout playing Korea might be best option right now. Unless, because honestly, you, I don't think um, you will be able to ask them for a white piece at the moment. Uh, did you want to try asking? What is the game you have been playing? It's basically Crusader Kings with more bitching. And no, more it's bitching. not. This is literally like... It's Crusader Kings with more bitching. That's <laughs> This game is like the shit that happens in it is so random and it makes no logical sense. Because this shit would never happen in real life because no one would give a fuck enough. But for some reason, England cares about some fucking... Ret some random ass country. Yeah, back I swear, when... I I shit you not. It's simply because they were uh, when they were in the middle of sparing. I didn't even know like fucking they were even sparing down here yet. Cause I I saw them spear a punch job. I was like, oh, well, maybe that's just them doing that. But no, they started sparing uh, Siam real quick. And I guess when they hopped on the friendly and they saw you declare war, they just say, hey, let me defend my fucking friend Siam, which is. Ignorant to say the least, and fucking annoying for us because that tightens the grip on where and how we can expand. Jeez. Get all of this. You know what? I'm gonna be nice. Uh, I'll throw a little bit extra cash your way. See if I could like ease the burden of those damn occupations. Percent of my population is literate. That's amazing. Yeah, hey, you know the mass man dropped thirty-four thousand. I just now another army taking the hell out. Let's see. Let's pause it. Do you... That be a long shot. You may be able to partition pieces of Siam back to, like, Siam and keep, like, the good parts for yourself. Or you can see if, you, like, they may accept a white piece. Not out of the question. Wait. England just offered me. The United Kingdom is demanding a piece of the following turn. Siam acquired Ben Clause Japanese Cambodia, Siam, Japanese one. We negotiate on behalf of our entire hey, line. Hey, 
they let me like make sure I got this correct. They asked for Bangkok, right? Yes. Japanese Cambodia. Uh -huh. Siam acquires Japanese and, Melania. Oh, okay. But do they get one that says knock knock on? Yes. They asked for that too? Mm hmm. So they're basically asking for like the full partition of it, like this to give it all back to Siam. Uh, see if you could ask them for a peace deal and see if you could give them at least a combination of a couple of the states back to Siam and see if you could at least come out of it with something. Because if anything, the main thing you do have is you did get the research points from it. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Because, um, like, I, I mean, even if you have to give back Siam, it, it just sucks you that like, have to return to territory. Uh... Should I offer peace terms or demand peace terms? Off, uh, wait, demand. Oh, actually, no, offer. Offer and then see if you can click on some of them. Like, offer is Siam acquire Bangkok. Siam I want. I just want you to, I just want to make sure. Offer is you're basically asking, like, you're surrendering to them. But, like, uh, you're asking for, like, some of it back. I mean, like, at least asking, like, to see if you can make more favorable peace terms. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, you could possibly see if they'll accept, like, if you demand a white peace. But I would say offering is probably your best bet right now since, like, they managed to drop off um, at least that many troops take, from Japan. Take a look at it real quick. Sure. Let's see. Hang on. I have to tab out the game. All right. They would not accept this offer. Uh, which ones do you have checked? I don't have any of them checked. Okay. Check on a couple of them. Like on the highest ones. All like do all the highest ones. Let's yeah, see. the sixteen and fourteen, right? Oh, uh, I mean, like all of them, like. They accept that, so they'll accept everything back. It's just because their war score on demand. See if you can white piece them. I mean, it's because they're able to demand that. Yeah, they will not accept the offer. Now, main thing will be if you want to wait those two years, or you could just cut the losses of Siam. You did get the research points, so. You would gain something out of it. And you're almost westernized. That's seventy percent. Yeah. So you can either drag this on, or you can just see like just cut the losses and like just you know walk away with the research points, but give back Siam. <sighs> what do you think I should do? Uh, that's the thing. It's um. It's like on the one hand, uh, it's territory, and you know, territory is good because you can at least raise some troops and stuff. I mean, Siam has the only things they kind of got that's kind of good right now is the steel and then a little bit of opium, not that much. The main thing is the rubber, they have like two provinces that make rubber, um, and or tropical wood that turns into rubber later on in the game. But it's um, something that is like really not really super necessary. Um, I would say you could try to drag it out, but just know it'll probably, I'm not even going to lie to you, it's probably going to wreck your economy having, um, being completely occupied. Like you'll only be able to raise troops in like Korea and uh, Siam uh, because okay. they occupy the territory. How much longer do I have right now if I was to do it? How much longer uh, do I have to wait? You still have like about uh, just about two years. Because oh. it's like 614 days left. I'm just going to offer this piece. I'll say yeah, just walk it back with the piece deal. And then you got the research points. And then there's yeah. always times for like you to rise back. Cause yeah, Siam got speared. Um, 
by Britain since you released, like they got released under them. Uh, you destroyed them though, but <laughs> yeah, I'm positive. So, um, and then also, I don't know where the hell those British troops are. <laughs> If they're going to be picked up or if they're just going to disband them. Oh, yeah, they just disbanded them. And then, see, yeah. your troops are almost back to Korea now. I would say, uh, if anything, now, since you're not at war, you could cut down on, like, the military spending a little bit. Like, your military maintenance, I should say. Oh, I finally got one clipper transport, and I still need four more just for one uh, boat. Jeez. I need some clipper transports. Uh, Austria is losing in war with Germany and the Ottomans. Well, seeing as how <laughs> pretty much Austria is in a two-front war, of course. Well, that was, that war was a bloodbath. I'm surprised the Brits dropped off uh, that many troops that quickly. I mean, one of them was just mobilized garbage. The other ones were like two legit armies. It didn't help the fact that the British weren't at war. If they were at least at war with a different country like France or something. And believe it or not, you actually did wear them down. I think you killed just about like a third of their entire military. Fucking bastards. Trust me. Siam can still be. What? Oh, I thought that said I lost transports for some reason. Chilling in Port Arthur. Can't read uh, all these irregulars from this set. These guys spread out. North German Federation entered an alliance with Bavaria. So, right now, it, it seems that all the fun is happening mainly in Europe now. But this is also good because it's going to help lower our Hopefully our flashpoint tensions. Well, it lowered yours in Korea. Me and Vietnam, that's a different story. Still have to go around making sure people are happy with me. Um, I'm going to talk to France next. I still have to get I I think I know which tech I'm gonna go for next. Yeah, I'll, I'll save up some points. Alright, so are you gonna be starting to rebuild your army? Uh, I 
guess. I mean, nothing else to do right now. I'm trying to get some Clipper transports. Yeah, it, I think there's a huge backlog. Oh, I'm actually about to get one. I just need 0. 0.2 more pieces of a boat, I guess. It was just Christmas. Yeah. I think the main reason why also one of the main holdouts is because Britain is the world's number one producer. You need to take them down. Oh, trust me. Their time is coming. I want to conquer them. I'm with you, brother. We're going to conquer them. You go to war with me, brother? Oh, yes, of course. I'll go to war with you. I say I'll sweep through India. You can inherit all of Africa and the United Kingdom or Canada or even Australia. We'll attack Pearl Harbor. Harbor a hundred years uh, uh, <laughs> before. That would be pretty damn no ignorant because you, <laughs> you would just bully the United States. The United States is like, I didn't do anything to you. It's just attack you. I know. I'm just messing around. No, I think we could do it. I mean, unless we get a boat. Finally, I'm getting, like, the first boat built after, like, over a year of me waiting. Like, shit. I think this is <sighs> years of me waiting. Boost farming efficiency? No. I am going to wait until... I'm probably going to go for either factories or railroads. How long are we got on that timer? Um, just about like uh, ten more minutes or fourteen more minutes. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Let's make this like this our last session of the whole bloody night. Yeah, we got time. I definitely need to build railroads. United States declared another war on Mexico. Austria is still in the slugfest. It seems that North Germany is trying to humiliate Austria and take Bohemia. Ethiopia is fighting Egypt for Eritrea. Oman is at war with Portugal. And Paraguay is at war with Bolivia. There's a lot of bloodshed going on. focus on industry hopefully I can get westernized by at least 1870 I'm seeing that was probably the earliest bet and then it's just gonna be war after war after war at a certain point once I finish I'm just gonna say screw it <laughs> screw the infamy limit just go to war with everybody Call yourself Napoleon. Oh. Oh, no. I'm going to be Kubla Khan. Why not Genghis? Because we don't like no Mongolians over here. But you're his grandson. What are you talking about? His grandson is dead. So is he. Yep. I think I give a damn. <laughs> Nothing you're saying is making sense. I don't understand. His grandson was Mongolian as well. You do know, I, I, uh, I am not his fucking grandson, cause he lived like over, <laughs> he lived like over six hundred years ago. No, you said you want to be Kublai Khan or whatever. And I was oh, like, oh, I thought you meant, I, I thought you meant like right now in game. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, his grandson Kublai Khan having fun in the sun. <laughs> but I'm just gonna renounce his. Well, actually, no, I'm not going to renounce his Mongolian heritage. It, ironically, because Mongolia is in my, uh... Huh, I don't like how Russia sphered my 
babies up here. Yeah, they're a sub-state with me, Russia. Oh, no. Russia did that event. You fucker. And they took your... They did, oh, yeah, they took some of your territory. Well, my sub-state's crap, but... Yeah. Oh, Shouldn't they run that by you first? I mean, it's it, because it's like... It's weird how the sub-states are working here. But anyway, if even if it was the case, I would have gave it to them anyway. Because there's, there's no dog way in hell I would have been able because Russia is also allied with France I would have been fucked <laughs> I help yeah with like with, with what boat do you even have a fucking boat yet a good swimmer I wish we could just you could just say everyone take off your clothes and just swim to the other side your guns in like you're the force will be waiting for you Oh, I, I got my one boat. Ew. This one solitary boat has the dreams of a nation riding on it. Okie dog. War between Bukhara and Afghanistan. Is it already over? I'm guessing it's already over. So Austria is still in this war with Germany, and oh yeah, now they're severely losing. What would happen if England and France went to war with Russia? Or they tried to take it over. How would that go for them? Um, unless they're one of them will be friendly with North Germans, uh, it'll probably. It could work if it's early-ish. Uh, later on, if, when Russia gets around its military techs, it'll suck for them. Let me see. France is at military tech 10. That's uh, that's a given. Uh, Britain, I think, was at 7 when they were at war with you. Now they're at 8. And Russia... Russia was at 6, I think, right now. Oh, no, they're at 7. What are we at? Well, technically, uh, let me see. I think I'm at like two. Oh no, I'm at one. Uh, cause that other one doesn't really count. And you're at military tech one. Mm. Okay, I almost have enough points. Right now, I'm just focused on like people opening up a bloody book. I'm going to reclaim that land from the Russians. That'll be my goal. We're going to write that wrong. Hmm. So, looks like North Germany and the UK are being buddy-buddy. I don't know why. I guess, well, Austria is allied with the UK. I guess because they see how weak they are. Like, they'd rather join the winning side. Oh, John Brown's last raid. Uh oh, that means the American Civil War is about to happen soon. And when that occurs, that's going to be fun for the United States. I wonder if something topsy turvy will happen, like the UK invades the United States, and then uh, when the United States like loses a couple battles, that's when the Civil War triggers. All right, so acquire Croatia and humiliate Austria. So I'm, I'm surprised Germany did not take Bohemia, but they just accepted to humiliate and gave the Ottomans Croatia. Ew. Actually, well, Ottomans lost great power status because it took us a lot. Who's the next great power? It is Belgium, and then Austria is about to lose great power status because of that war. Kind of. Maybe, hopefully.
And all right, I'm able to do this. Let me pass this so I can do something in the meantime. Thank God. The hell? I can prove my damn infrastructure at least somewhat. It's going to be forever for me to get these materials, but it'll be something at least. I think most of this I produce domestically anyway. Yeah, one of my top exports is iron. That's probably why I was making a lot of money at one point. Uh, probably because a lot of the powers needed, like, iron. And then, yeah, since iron, I make that domestically. And then since cement and steel, timber are all pretty cheap. Uh, I'm starting to build, okay. I'm finally starting to build railroads. <laughs> Besides, you're about to. Oh wow, you westernized. Yeah. Congratulations. Build up your military a little bit and get a little bit of prestige. You'll be a great power. You're technically no. uh you're just behind the Ottomans. Uh how many points though? By like eight points. I'm going to exact my vengeance. And so, now I have to worry because <laughs> you go, I don't want you to be genocidal against me. Don't worry, I'll remember, I'll remember what you did for me. I also remember what you said. Oh, yes. I remember everything. If you're willing to come into China, then be willing to be come on into China. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, as soon as I westernized, like I started getting Clipper transports. Yeah, because it, it jumped you. You went from like 50th in the world to like 12th place. Right now, I'm in, I'm gonna, I am trying to modernize the nation. Right now, I'm trying to get our troops um, proud again, up and running. I think I largely, largely modernized my entire force. Oh, yeah, let's get these guys down here. And boop, boop, boop. So now you're about to enter the great game where you'll be able to decide uh, if you want to join in in any European great wars for glory and prestige over there. Me, I, I'm still going to have to sit around on my hands and plot silently against Russia. Even though I'm being friendly with them right now, I'm getting the dagger ready to stab in the back. Let me see. Uh... I have approximately, yes, two transports now. <laughs> My two modest transports. How brilliant. Let's see. All I really Where's need... Where's a good place for me to build a naval base? Which particular province in Japan? Oh, you can build it like one naval base per state. I remember. But I'm saying, like, what would be like a good one? Like, does it matter which one? Oh no, it doesn't matter. See, look at you building naval bases and all that hoot nanny. I'm only halfway there. <laughs> I think it's kind of scary. I see all these Japanese troops and boats flipping and flopping all over the place. Now, I gotta wash my back.
I don't know why the hell are well it seems that Korean nationalists are coming back in style so are the Vietnamese Ottomans still have like it's a hot spot there's so many hot spots going on right now in the world but I don't think like most of the most of the great power oh they ended those other wars um in the United States is at war um, with Mexico for California Jeez, so right now it seems that the plot has thickened. Yep, they just acquired California and Arizona. So Manifest Destiny is finished. Now it's just Oh, railroads. I see railroads in China. How can I make railroads? I was actually like looking to see how, but oh uh, wait, uh, I, I, I was trying to build one in a province. Um, to... some of the provinces, I think you may be able to build some right now. Um, let me pause it. For I you. mean, so, would it be beneficial to build one in every province or just yeah, like... every province as you can, because it reduces supply limit uh costs for your troops, so you can have more troops standing on a province, and it produces like. And increases the resource output of the province. Okay. So it's always good to have railroads. Uh, at one point in the game, like later on, like when you get more capitalists in your country, um, they'll start doing it on their own. Civilized factory and state build factories. Yes. I have so much fucking. Like money. it won't let me do it. it it's yes. like not highlighted. For any province that I click on. Uh, let me see. Because you do have some railroads, actually. Um, It may be because some of the provinces, you can't build it on, like, at level one. You can't build it in forests. Or, actually, you could build it in this one. You can't build it on, like, mountains and stuff. Oh yeah, just double check, just to go go on your technology page and see if under industry you have like experimental railroad. Industry. No, I don't have it. Yeah, research that. But yeah, I think probably through one of the events, uh, you gained railroads in like uh, what state is this? The Kanto region. Okay. Right, I think it's about a good time to wrap this one up, don't you think? Yep. Alright, so let me do this and pause the game. So, okie dokie, I guess that's the end of our session for tonight. Short as that was, it actually a lot fucking happened. Like, you got into a war with Siam and the UK, fought them pretty damn valiantly, I might add, and, uh, you know, you managed to, like, use that war to help you westernize uh, your country and um, yeah since now you're westernized um, it's just like you're let me see you're at 103 points right now Ottomans are at 109 so you gained up on them a little bit um, once you surpass the Ottomans you're just gonna be like at 11th place or you'll at least be at 10th uh, Austria is no longer who do you have to pass let me see so the next country you have to pass is the Netherlands, and they have 152 points. So once you pass them, you'll at least be the eighth great power in the world, and you'll be able to like, you know, start spearing people and whatnot. But let's call it a night. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. Hit that bell for notifications to keep up with this series or any others I'm doing. And we shall see you again the next time. This is Soul Supreme and Thunder God. And have a great day, folks. Good night, profligates. I'm a profligate you. Now this one is pure niceness.